your belief, uh, well, your view about uh, infallible agency being somehow self-contradictory, what do you believe that means for the philosophy of religion in general? Thank you. But, I, I mean, if you're asking about about our concept of God and whether I subscribe to it, is that what you're asking? I don't know what you mean no, by philosophy. No, it, it wasn't my question. It wasn't my question. I think the right. idea has got to be something like, it does that sort of pose a problem for uh, philosophy of religion uh, f about the existence of God if infallible agency is a contradiction? Well, look, my general view about the existence of God is, first, it depends on how you define God. If you were to define God in the standard sense, i.e., let's say, uh, the agent who created the world in 600 some days a few thousand years ago, right? That's one conception of God. Another conception of God is omnipotent, omniscient, and all good, etc. Right? And I'm saying, if you characterize God in one or other of these ways, and then ask, do you believe in it? I would say, I believe in things for which I have evidence, or for which there are. Uh, knock down logical philosophical arguments. And I haven't, so let's take the concept of God that created the, the world in six days, right? And what is the evidence for it? You have to ask that. I mean, the origins of the universe is a question that we have answers to, right? There's the Big Bang Theory, the, I mean, it's a scientific question, and creationism gives an unscientific answer to a scientific question, the origins of the universe. So I don't subscribe to, to uh, God so conceived. I've never no ev reason to believe that there's any evidence, or for that matter, any argument, convincing argument, that there have been some have tried to give it in the history of philosophy, uh, for or the idea of a first cause, or the idea of of uh, all good, all knowing, all powerful God. There's no evidence for any such being, and there's no argument I've seen that's convincing for any such being. So, so you know, I just treat these as questions for which you have evidence and arguments, and I haven't seen one. Right. So I. And I, I think there's actually a lot of reason to not believe it. So I call myself an atheist. But now if you say God is, is something that we experience and some people have experienced it, well, I, you know, some people have experienced it. I don't, don't want to be impertinent and say, I don't believe you. You know, but the idea of experience there is experience for me. And who am I to deny that, that, that you've experienced something? But the idea of experience there is, is experience, you know, some kind of mystical uh, state is is not something that I could deny. Why, why, why would I deny it? Um, Dr. Fulgham, to clarify the question, and by the way, Detroit, if you're here, can you ping me? Um, I think I, I needed to clarify the question. So basically, traditional conceptions of God uh, present him. And I mean, by, tra by traditionals, I mean traditional Judaism, traditional Christianity, traditional Islam, some versions of Hinduism present God as a mind uh, that has both agency and possesses infallibility. Uh, however, your work has been interpreted to suggest uh, that were such a being to exist, it would be more akin to a, as you put it, rational automaton. So what yes. implications do you think this view has on the philosophy of religion? Do you think that um, th this can have like significant um, you know, impact where people have to reinterpret their conception of God? Or, and that, that was, I think, more what the questioner was asking. Well, I, I would want to know what is the use of the term mind here? What does it mean by saying it's, it is a mind that is infallible? 
see, the, the concept of mind is our concept, right? It's our concept. There's no concept of mind that, so we have to say, what do we mean by mind? And, and I'm saying that standardly, we do, we do not think of the mind as a mechanism, as an automaton, right? And if it's, and the only idea we have of somebody who, it is not even possible to make a mistake, not even possible to make a mistake, right? Then I don't understand why it isn't just a superlatively reliable mechanism. And that is not our concept of mind. 